Hi, my name is Justin Sykes. I'm Micron's Director of Client SSDs. And today I'm very excited to be here to talk to you about our real SSD C400. Before I move into talking about the, the Micron real SSD C400, I'm going to go ahead and start off a demo here. We have two identical laptops. Everything on them is exactly the same with only one major difference. One of them is using the Micron Real SSD C400. The other one's using the standard hard drive. I'll go ahead and get these started. Uh, what you're going to see, they're both going to boot up and they're going to run a, a preloaded script that will load up 20 raw photo images and load those into Photoshop so we can do some editing on them at a, at a future date. It's also going to start and play an HD video. At the same time, it'll be copying a 1.3 gigabyte file in the background. The, uh, the real SSD one is right here next to me, and it's already off and into Windows. The hard drive is, is still trying to boot. Um, while that goes ahead and, and runs through its script, we'll talk a little bit about the product. The C400 is um, Micron's newest generation of, of SSD. It's a follow-on to our award-winning OEM qualified C300. Some of the major differences about this product, um, it's using Micron's leading 25 nanometer NAND. And uh, that's pretty special really because 25 nanometer NAND is, is the latest NAND geometry on the market and enables the, the continued progression in, in price competitiveness of SSDs. Also allows us to add capacities to this product. We've added a 512 gigabyte capacity. Um, and from an engineering standpoint, it's also pretty, pretty special. Uh, as NAND processes shrink, they become more and more difficult to manage. And using Micron's proprietary firmware algorithms and flash translation algorithms that uh, run on the controller, uh, we're able to bring out the, the latest generation of NAND onto an SSD while still maintaining very high reliability and quality standards. Uh, other things about this, it's a SATA 6 gigabit interface, which um, is really needed for this product to get the maximum out of it. Uh, we get read speeds at 415 megabytes per second and write speeds up to 260 megabytes per second. If you're uh, not familiar, the, the SATA 3 gigabit interface, which is the, the predecessor to SATA 6 gigabit, is um, caps out at about 260 megabytes per second. So you can see on reads and writes, we're, we're saturating, you know, beyond saturating SATA 3 gigabit and really need the SATA 6 gigabit. If you happen to have an, an older system that, that only has a SATA 3 gigabit interface, that's perfectly acceptable. This uh, will go ahead and run at the, at the SATA 3 gigabit speed. You'll still get um, almost all the benefits of having an SSD. Um, in fact, these platforms right here are running SATA 3 gigabit, and you can see that the SSD is uh, much, much faster than the hard drive. In fact, I think it's on its second iteration of booting here, and hard drive's starting to load up Photoshop and get the video going. Uh, C400 is available in two form factors. It's available in a 2.5 inch as well as a 1.8 inch. Uh, these laptops here happen to be running the 1.8 inch. Uh, capacity wise, I mentioned we have a new capacity of 512 gigabytes. Uh, we also support the 64, 128, and 256 gigabyte capacity points. Um, yep, and back to the demo here. The SSD has finished its second loop and is rebooting. Hard drive is, uh, well, it got the video running. It's, it's trying to load all the files. It'll get there eventually. As you can see, you know, pretty simple de demo, but um, something that you might do every day as you go on a vacation and, and take a bunch of photos. You're going to want to bring them into Photoshop so you can do some cleanup on those before you send them out to your friends or print them, put them on your wall. Um, and uh, using the SSD is going to make that task much faster for you. It's uh, exponentially faster than a hard drive. And I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this. If you have any additional questions or comments, you can uh, post them at micronblogs.com. Thank you very much.